Welcome back to the Alternate History Channel, where we untangle the threads of the past to weave a new narrative of what could have been. If you're passionate about history and love a good thought experiment, you're in the right place. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you won't miss any future alternate histories. Today, we're venturing back into the heart of the Roman Empire, an era defined by conquest, innovation, and larger-than-life figures. Our focus is on one of history's most influential individuals, Julius Caesar. We all know the tragic fate he met on the Ides of March, but what if that pivotal moment in history was averted? What if Caesar's assassination was prevented and he continued his reign? What would a Rome ruled by an elderly Caesar look like? And how would the future of the empire, and indeed our world, have turned out differently? Julius Caesar, the perpetual dictator of Rome, had been a formidable force in the Roman world, thanks to his military and political acumen. His victories in the Gallic Wars had vastly expanded the Roman territory, which not only increased his popularity, but also made him one of the wealthiest men in Rome. With this wealth and power, Caesar began transforming Rome. He initiated many ambitious projects, from vast construction initiatives to social reform. Caesar's immediate plan, had he lived beyond 44 BC, was to leave for a military campaign in Parthia. He aspired to avenge the loss of Crassus, a fellow member of the First Triumvirate, and expand Roman control further east. Given Caesar's military genius, it's not implausible to imagine he could have been successful. A victorious campaign could have not only expanded the Roman Empire further, but also bolstered Caesar's already considerable prestige and influence. But his plans weren't just military, Caesar was deeply invested in the reformation of the Roman Republic. He had already implemented changes to the Roman calendar, started massive public works projects, and provided for veterans. Caesar had also begun taking steps to mitigate the debt crisis and limit the use of slave labour by enforcing a law that required a significant portion of agricultural labourers to be free men. In the long term, it is believed that Caesar intended to transform the Republic into a form of government more akin to a Hellenistic monarchy, a step which would have implications for the transition of Rome from Republic to Empire. So let's now imagine a Rome where the Ides of March passed uneventfully and Julius Caesar lived. The effects of such an event would have reverberated across Rome and far beyond. In our alternate timeline, imagine if one of Caesar's loyal allies, such as Mark Antony, had discovered the conspiracy against Caesar and warned him. In the face of this potential threat, Caesar, a master strategist, would have acted swiftly, arresting the conspirators and, in a public display of mercy and strength, exiling them from Rome instead of executing them. With his life saved, Caesar would have moved forward with his ambitious plans for Rome. His further reforms might have revolutionized the administrative structure of the city, ensuring greater efficiency and stability. He had already initiated a massive colonization plan to ease the issue of overcrowding in Rome, settling or planting colonies of veterans in newly conquered territories. This policy could have continued, leading to a more Romanized and connected empire, Furthermore, Caesar would have also consolidated his power, perhaps transitioning Rome from a republic to a Hellenistic-style monarchy, centralizing power and thus creating a more stable Roman government. Historically, Caesar had been appointed dictator perpetuo, dictator in perpetuity, and with the continued consolidation of power, it's plausible he could have become the first official emperor in all but name. In the same year, Caesar would have embarked on his planned Parthian campaign, the ambitious military expedition would have aimed to avenge Crassus's loss at Carhai and extend Roman influence further into Asia. With his brilliant strategies and indomitable leadership, it's highly plausible that Caesar would have achieved a victory, further cementing his legacy as one of Rome's greatest generals. Throughout this period, Caesar would have interacted with various key figures. Mark Antony, his loyal ally, would have been a significant influence, supporting Caesar's initiatives and serving as his right hand. Octavian, his adopted heir, would have been learning from Caesar, potentially grooming him for leadership. On the international stage, the reaction to Caesar's survival and his victory in Parthia would have been varied. King Herod of Judea, a Roman client, might have seen this as an opportunity to strengthen ties with Rome. 
The Germanic tribes, observing the strengthening of Roman power, could have become more cautious, altering their strategies. As Julius Caesar's reign continued, he would have implemented a series of military campaigns and civic reforms. Expanding on his victory in Parthia, Caesar might have directed his attention to other territories, like Germania and Dacia, to further consolidate the Roman Empire's boundaries. The success of these campaigns would have not only brought immense wealth and new territories to Rome, but also forged a path for subsequent Roman emperors to follow, in terms of military ambition and tactics, on the home front, Caesar's policy of colonization and settling of veterans would have drastically altered the socio-cultural fabric of the empire, resulting in a more Romanized realm. He would have continued to push for reforms in the Senate, balancing power among the classes, providing further stability to the social order. Moreover, his attempts to limit the use of slave labor might have ushered in the early stirrings of an industrial revolution, as the Romans would need to devise new ways to support their economy. Such advancements could have propelled the Roman Empire into a technological age far before our timeline. Politically, Caesar's relations with foreign powers would have evolved. His military successes and his mercy towards conquered peoples would likely have earned him both allies and enemies. Among his own ranks, figures like Mark Antony and Octavian would continue to play pivotal roles. Mark Antony, as a confidant and military partner, would have worked closely with Caesar in his ventures. Meanwhile, Octavian, being groomed as Caesar's heir, might have been given more responsibilities, shaping him into a more skilled and seasoned leader, ready to succeed Caesar when the time came. In this alternate history, Octavian's ascendancy to power would not have been the result of a brutal civil war, but a peaceful transition, signifying the success of Caesar's long-term plans for the Roman Empire. Caesar's twilight years would likely have been spent solidifying the administrative and military structures of the empire, ensuring its prosperity and stability long after his reign. He would have planned for a smooth succession, anointing Octavian as his successor and preparing Rome for the transition. In this alternate history, Caesar's assassination was averted and the consequences echo through centuries, creating a Roman empire that was more expansive, more technologically advanced, and more politically stable than the one in our timeline. The legacy of Julius Caesar as a reformer, a general and a statesman would have been monumental and enduring, shaping the course of history in profound and compelling ways. And there we have it, a tantalizing glimpse into an alternate Rome and an alternate world, where Julius Caesar survived and continued to shape the destiny of the Roman Empire. But as always, we are left to wonder and speculate for that's the beauty of alternate history. What do you think would have happened had Julius Caesar not been assassinated? Would Rome have risen to greater heights under his continued leadership, or would it have faced unforeseen challenges? We'd love to hear your thoughts, theories, and ideas in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this journey through an alternate Rome, please hit that like button and share the video with other history enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe to the Alternate History channel for more exciting explorations into what could have been. Until next time, keep imagining because history is full of endless possibilities.